How's it going guys? I'm back to another series. We're going to talk about how to learn bootstrap. Now in this episode, we're going to talk about what exactly bootstrap is and what you need to know before you dive into it. So when it comes to bootstrap, bootstrap is basically a front end framework created to make mobile first websites. Now what that means is that when we create a website using HTML and CSS, maybe a bit of JavaScript, we create it with a mobile phone in mind first before we design for the desktop. Now, having said this, and as you guys can probably guess from it, all you need to know before you get into Bootstrap is basic HTML and basic CSS. You don't need to know any other kind of programming languages other than these two in order to start Bootstrap. So what we can do with Bootstrap is a bunch of stuff. Uh, first of all, with Bootstrap, creating websites inside you know, the browser or inside a mobile phone automatically makes it responsive. As long as you, of course, program Bootstrap the proper way, it should automatically be responsive because of the CSS that Bootstrap provides. So if you guys have any kind of plans to make whatever website you're creating responsive from the get-go, and you don't want to spend too much time on creating the responsive design yourself, then Bootstrap is a really good choice to get started quickly and get a responsive website going really fast. Now you might be asking, how does Bootstrap actually work when we get into the coding part? Well, Bootstrap is basically just a library that you can download or just link to on the web that has a bunch of HTML and CSS and JavaScript that we can use inside the website. Meaning that the HTML attributes we have inside our website, such as you know the div boxes and the sections, and if you want to create a navigation, Bootstrap has their own HTML versions of those tags that we can use, which because we load Bootstrap inside the document as well, automatically styles and creates this Bootstrap layout that we want to create inside our website. And this is why Bootstrap is so easy to learn because if you have basic knowledge of HTML and CSS, then you should have no problems learning this. Now I mentioned that we needed to download Bootstrap and there was two ways we could do it. Either we could just download all the source files directly inside our root folder, which is one way to do it, uh, but the way we're going to focus on these series here, or at least in these episodes, is using something called a CDN network. Well, CDN stands for Content Delivery Network, so you can't really say CDN network, but you get what I mean. The basic idea behind using a CDN network rather than downloading the files and inserting all the bootstrap files inside the root folder directly is that when we use a content delivery network, we can actually load all the files faster since when a user enters your website, all the bootstrap files get loaded from a server, which is going to be somewhere near you. A content delivery network basically means that there's a bunch of servers all over the world. Whichever server closest to you is going to be the one that the user loads all the files from when they enter a bootstrap website. So this is why we're going to go ahead and use a CDN network. And this is actually much easier to set up than, you know, just downloading the files and using them directly inside the root folder. So in the next episode, we're going to talk about how to actually set up a bootstrap website and get started on it so we can actually get this, you know, CDN network working. Uh, so we have bootstrap available to us when we start creating a website. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.